want to do is we want to find a, a line that's perpendicular, meaning at a right angle to the segment, and cuts it in half, bisects it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our compass. Okay, so this is just a basic compass here. But what you want to make sure is that these two points come together. You don't want one to be like down here and the other one to be up there. You want them to come together at the end. And so what you're going to do is you're going to open it up. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you open it up more than halfway. If, if it's less than halfway, uh, you're going to have an issue. You want to make sure you open it up more than halfway. It doesn't have to be exact. But what we're going to do is we're going to make an arc below the segment and above the segment, like so. Okay, and if you want, some students will just make a continuous arc like, like that, but you can separate the two arcs. And then what you're going to do is go from the other end point, okay, like so, and you're going to make two more arcs. So let me just make sure we've got it correct here. So we've got this arc, and then we're going to, let me just rotate the paper like this. We're going to make another arc above and below, okay. And then what you're going to use, you're going to use those two points to draw a line. Okay, so those two points of intersection right here and right here, and that's going to be your perpendicular bisector. Okay, there you go. So you can see that that's a right angle, 90 degrees, and you can see that it's cutting that segment in half. So this has been how to construct a perpendicular bisector. I'll see you in the next video.